Oh hi there! Welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. My name is Matthew B. Lamont. Today, we'll look at, well, if you've been listening to the music in the background, you know what it is. That's right, it's Sesame Street related. No, it's not Mecha Builders. It's called Street Gang. How we got to Sesame Street. It's a documentary about the origin of Sesame Street and how the impact it left over the past five decades. This was based on a book by Michael Davis called Sesame Street. It means Street Gang, a complete guide, a complete history of Sesame Street. Yeah, that's it. So, this uh, good book, I highly recommend you read it. And now there's a documentary and it's coming to theaters. Well, let's see. Let's see how it works. But first, let me give you a history lesson. Joan Gantz Cooney, who wanted to use television as a teaching tool. And so she knew that uh, children are learning and quoting stuff through cartoons and commercials and other shows. And she thought, hmm, why not create a TV show that uses all sorts of skits, comedy skits, animated skits, puppet skits, film skits that were shot on 16mm film, and musical skits. That was Sesame Street. And she acquired a lot of talents. One of them was Jim Henson, who created such memorable characters as Big Bird, Ernie and Bert, Oscar the Grouch, Grover, Cookie Monster, Harry Monster, and Count Von Count, just to name a few. And the show was like running for like over five decades with a lot of merchandising and two movies that premiered on the big screen. A magazine, a long running magazine that premiered in 1970. So, with further ado, let's look at Street Gang. How we got to Sesame Street. Based on Michael Davis's book, Street Gang. A Complete History of Sesame Street. Ray PG. This was an experiment. Tag! You're it. No one had ever seen it like it. I wanted to capture the family forum. Hi, Bert. Ernie! But I don't think any of us accept that. Oh my god, we're changing the world. Children were watching a tremendous amount of television. So why not see if it could educate them? I love the whole idea of taking commercial techniques and applying them to a show for kids. I was convinced that it would be John Stone. Jim Henson, Frank Oz. If they were odd, you had a good day. We're the best of friends. Yes. How many lines do you have? Three. Three. <laughs> well, try to get the first one better. I had become intellectually and spiritually involved with the civil rights movement. Those were revolutionary times. I saw it as a political show. There's no Maria. question that we're integrated. That's our worst sin. I'm happy to be a sinner. Beautiful children will grow up. Be on the set watching this dynamic. It was magic. Steve Wonder. It was people dedicated to a real ideal and having the will to do it. It was all of us having the time of our lives, writing silly things, but always with this message that television could be socially valuable. sure what we are or what we can be we know there's potential and the realization to accept ourselves that's what Sesame Street's about I like the font there <laughs> where it's like 
that has a specific century gothic font, but all bold, kind of like Sesame Street, the letters and numbers, and it said it's going to premiere in theaters April 23rd, but on demand May 7th. Whether it's like Xfinity On Demand or it's like coming to HBO Max, yeah, it's no doubt this movie's going to come to HBO Max. And I think the reason behind this film was the fact that due to the success of the documentary that premiered in 2018 called A Beautiful Day in a Neighborhood, or I mean, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Yeah, Won't You Be My Neighbor in 2018. I saw it. It was a great film. But PG for thematic elements and smoking, disregard that part if you want to. I thought it made myself great. And let's go to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood first. When the documentary was success, someone came up with the idea for a movie called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood starring Tom Hanks, and they were thinking, hmm, how about if we could make a movie about how Mr. Rogers affected the life of this one man who was a reporter who was assigned to interview him, and which was true. And they made a movie of that, so I highly recommend you'd see A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, starring Tom Hanks, and Won't You Be My Neighbor, both rated PG-13. So I think, I predict, that, th that before I make my prediction, I would say that this documentary was made to coincide with the hype of the 50th anniversary of Sesame Street in 2019. And there's a documentary that's already out, that's coming out, called Sesame Street, 50 Years of Sunny Days. And speaking of documentaries, the only two documentaries I ever kn knew were A Walk Down Sesame Street, 1979, hosted by James Earl Jones, and Sesame Street, 20 Years in Counting, Counting in 1989, yes, hosted by Bill Cosby. So, now a proper documentary is out. Now, let my prediction, if this movie does well, I have a feeling that Warner Brothers is going to make a movie out of it. A movie about the backstory of Sesame Street. So, how will that work? And yes, I'm going to do a uh, little uh, research here. So, Okay, so yeah, there it is. I predict there's going to be a movie about the story behind Sesame Street, like it takes place in the late 1960s, where Joan Cans Cooney, who was a filmmaker, which is true, goes on and takes a journey and to come up with an idea and have like these plans and discussions on how to make television educational. And uh, she would meet Jim Henson and the Muppeteers. We would have I don't know, some like Jeff Bridges as Jim Henson, just saying, and uh, David Cross, who, who was Tobias in Arrested Development as Frank Oz, so yeah, he's perfect for the role. <laughs> and Michael Richards as Richard Hunt. So, just to name a few, and I would say that this would be a good idea for a movie about the making of Sesame Street, the backstory of Sesame Street, which would no doubt be rated PG-13. And, uh, let's see, uh, all right, uh, hmm, ooh, Rami Malek, he'll be great for Joe Raposo. Yeah, I was, yeah, he'll be great for Joe Raposo in a film about the making of Sesame Street, so I'm getting my cast, so what do you think? What is your idea for a cast of Sesame Street movie? But I also caught wind that uh, 20th Century Fox is going to do a Sesame Street movie, but then later I discovered that MGM is going to do a Sesame Street theatrical movie, and it's going to be a musical. Hey, it could be worse. It could be Eli Roth directing it, and he would like turn into a horror movie of some sort. Use your imagination with that one, because I'm not going to waste my time talking about that. I have to keep it, keep it clean. So, what do you think? What's your idea for a Sesame Street movie? So, I was thinking, hmm, 
There's been a Mr. Rogers documentary and a Mr. Rod and a Mr. Rogers feature film. And there's been a Sesame Street documentary now, and I predict it'll be a Sesame Street feature film. Well, I have a question. How about a Reading Rainbow documentary? So, with that being said, if you want to see it in theaters, go see Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street. Oh, wait. You can't see in theaters, huh? Oh, yeah, COVID-19. Tell me about it. Well, watch it on demand on May 7th. And you could watch it on HBO Max as well. So this is Matthew Lomont saying, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, ring that bell button, and this is Matthew Lomont saying, goodbye and have a nice day. Trailer Reaction Videos has been brought to you today by the letters C, V, and the number 19. Trailer Reaction Videos has been a production of Matthew Belmont Productions. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.